So thank you to everyone. It was a very fascinating two days, and I'm excited for the next two days. I have, can you hear me? I've actually sat in on all the panels, and I've learned a lot, and I see many uh, syntheses among the topics. Um, just a little bit about me. I'm Associate Director of the African Studies Center and a Professor of Law at the University of Michigan Law School. Um, <clears throat> I also um, designed a course at the law school that teaches on Africa and the global legal system. Uh, so the students learn a lot of the uh, background um, legal rules and institutions that touch upon and facilitate a lot of the issues that we've heard of over the several two days, for example, intellectual property, financial regulation, um, and so forth. Um, the African Studies Center, I would encourage all, all the participants, if you have not already, look into the African Studies Center. We're, we're under the International Institute at the University of Michigan. So if you go to the, the International Institute's website, there will be links to the regional centers, and you'll see Africa there. Um, we do a number of we do a number of uh, African support exchanges between uh, African institutions and our institution. Um, not only institutional exchanges, faculty exchanges, scholar exchanges, student exchanges, and funds. We give seed grants to faculty in all fields, STEM to uh, humanities, social sciences, seed pro seed, uh, to fund seed projects. Uh, that collaborate with African scholars and often bring also students in um, <clears throat> into those projects. Um, we also influence uh, curriculum development at the University of Michigan. I, I'm proud to say that we have a very, I think we have a very rich and growing offering of Africa-related support groups um, now at the law school, including law school, which I'm proud of. Um, and I'll just put one final plug about African studies. If you're participating in this conference today, there's a 30% discount for the African Perspectives book, book series. Um, and that expires on uh, February 28th. So you can go to the website and take a look at the books that are on offer and see if you would like to get any um, during this discount period. <clears throat> um, I think the last two days have been fascinating. And uh, the overarching theme that I take away is that uh, we're pushing forward African solutions to African problems. And the approach that we're, we're desiring and aiming for is an approach that collaboration for sure, a collaboration that is uh, mutual and a collaboration that drops all the assumptions that Africa should follow the rest of the world. Um, as was mentioned in the shooting panel, uh, a lot of the solutions that would work elsewhere would not, would not work in Africa. Africans know firsthand their problems. And so as scholars and as industrialists and policymakers, we should approach Africa with a perspective that we learn what the pro particular problems are from them. And uh, we, get, we offer the skills that we have um, and the capacity building, but we don't serve as a leader. We're a partner, um, and maybe even sometimes, as Baba Rebiet suggested, sometimes followers who do not need to be the hero of the story. Um, it's a new century for Africa. Um, I thought it was fascinating uh, how, you know, yesterday's discussion of Finca converged with today's discussion, the end of this discussion on transportation. Uh, financing for these different technologies is going to be critical. Um, and I see, you know, how you can work together with people who are doing fintech and transportation. Um, of course, law will come in, business will come in. Um, we saw, you know, we learned about the um, Chessie uh, University and opportunities for our students to go there and vice versa for them to come here. Um, opportunities for uh, in transportation, for green technology, for automation, for uh, a shift from informal sector to the formal sector, uh, the role of the government in providing some of these public goods uh, that arise in the transportation sector. 
um, <clears throat> appropriate policy. Um, tomorrow, which I'm also very excited about, tomorrow we will have higher education and heritage. Um, so the first panel, moderated by Andres, uh, the direct Andres Kotsi, the director of African studies, will uh, investigate uh, exchanges uh, between Africa and the United States, which we are well placed to uh, participate in. We have been, we have a long history. Um, and then the second panel uh, will be moderated by the former ambassador to the new nation of South Sudan, um, Susan Page. She will talk about uh, the problematic, uh, the issue of returning African heritage um, and the issues that arise in that context. So I look forward to seeing everyone tomorrow. I will certainly be here um, and have a wonderful evening. And thank you again to everyone who made this possible, um, the provost, the president's office, African studies, all the moderators, all the speakers, all the students, everyone of the audience. Thank you and we'll see you tomorrow.